Hello everyone, so in today's video I want to show you how to trigger a Power Automate flow from UAPath. And there might be a lot of scenarios in which you would like to combine the power of both. So I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a link between them. And for that let's first create our Power Automate flow. And what it's gonna do is send an email whenever we trigger it from UAPath. So it's a rather easy task which you can also do in UAPath. However, it's just for the purpose of the video I want to show you how to pass the data between both of them. So now let me click on New Flow and select Automated Cloud Flow and for now just click Skip. So we are going to select now the trigger when the Power Automate Flow is going to run and for that let's type HTTP and select when an HTTP request is received. So basically we are going to use HTTP request sent from UAPath towards Power Automate to trigger it. As a next step, we need to provide the JSON schema of data that we are going to pass from UAPath. So in this case, we want to pass data like email address, email subject and email body. However, remember at this step, we are just generating a JSON schema and I'm using the actual data that I'm going to pass later on. So let's copy it and click here and provide the data to generate JSON schema. So as you can see here, the JSON schema was generated. We can also add some more properties. However, for now, we're going to go with those three. And as the next step, we can already send our email. So let's type send, select send an email. And we are going to select a dynamic content, which is passed in the first step. So basically here we select email address for subject, so email subject and email body. We are almost set up. Let's now click save. And once we are saving our flow, it's going to generate for us the link, the URL towards which we are going to send our request. So let's just copy it and go to UAPath. So now in UAPath, let's open main workflow and the first step we are going to do is actually import a new package. So click on manage packages, go to official and just write web API. And select uapath.webapi.activities. Click install and save. So now in activities panel, let's find activity called Deserialize JSON. So the purpose of this activity is actually for us to create a JSON object out of our string. So this time we are going to use uh, this format. So instead of double quotes, we everywhere have single quotes. And the reason for it is that in UAPath, double quotes are reserved for strings. So we actually would need to put them around our string, but we cannot use it in between. So let's put double quotes and then paste the string that I showed you. So basically email address, subject and email body. And this time we already provide the values that we want to use in our flow. And let's click OK. And as the next step, we need to create an output variable. So let's call it uh, new JSON properties. And as you can see in variables panel, it created a JSON object. So now let's type HTTP and select activity called HTTP request and put it as the next step. So in this part, we are going to use HTTP request wizard to set up our request. And the endpoint is actually the string that we copied from Power Automate. And let's put it here. So it's a URL towards which we send our request. And as a request method, we need to select post because we do not get any data, but we trigger Power Automate flow. And we can click OK. Two more things that we need to do is, first of all, change the body format to application slash JSON. And in body, we need to provide the object that we just created. And remember to boot dot and type to string. Because in this case, we actually need to provide a string variable. And we can click OK. 
So at this point, we can run our UiPath process and it's going to trigger our flow in Power Automate. So let me click Run. Okay, so the run has finished. Let's go over to Power Automate and see if our flow was triggered. Okay, so as we can see, it was triggered. And if we click on the trigger, we can see all the data that was passed from UiPath. And we can see also that the email was sent. Let me also show you the email that I have received. So as you can see, I have received the email sent from Power Automate, which was triggered actually from UiPath. And all the data is the one that we provided. So in that way, you can create a link between UiPath and Power Automate.